at a media briefing urged Namibians to vote for its presidential candidate, Dr. Itula. We are confident that the new chief patriot, Karayan Kong, to become a president of the Republic of Namibia without a salary is a clear, is yet a clear determination upon the Namibian people. We are faced with economical threat where cost of living has escalated, yet we need to consider leaders such as Dr. Panduleni Philemon Bango Itula. Without revealing how long Dr. Itula will go without salary if elected as president, Kangulu says the IPC leader will divert his salary to the development of infrastructure such as hospitals, schools, and other improved social services like social and veteran grants. Why do you want to opt for a fake salary? This question goes to the all presidential candidate. Why do you want to opt for that fake salary? On top of all the privilege that me and you knew, then if you are ready to serve the Namibian people, purely to occupy that highest office in the life of the Zambian president, His Excellency Akayenda Achirem, and the current Resorto Prime Minister, Sam Makekani. Who are truly serving their people without the highest office, without any salary. Kangulu says poverty in Namibia will only be conquered through collective efforts, and Namibians need to rededicate themselves to a genuine transformation of the economy. The regional executive leadership further announced that IPC has opened 38 branches seven executive and regional executive committees, the first in the party's history. Renata Rengura, NBC News, Valfi Spain. Now, the land